this is Jamie Magrich. Welcome to Jamie's Craft Table. Today I'm going to show you how I made this card. Okay. For ink, I have Versamark, Misty Moonlight, and Memento Tuxedo Black. The only cardstock we're using today is the uh, white. I have um, an eighth of a sheet, two twice. It's just a quarter sheet cut in half. To stamp the butterflies on and die cut out, and I have a four and one eighth by five and three eighths piece of white. When my card base is thick, which is five and a half by eight and a half, scored and folded at four and a quarter. And this has a mark on the inside, so I'm going to fold it the other way so I can hide that. Don't like the crease as well that way, but it'll work. Okay. So the first thing I'm going, oh, well, let's go over the rest of what we're going to be using. I have white embossing powder and uh, my embossing bag and a coffee filter to do the embossing part of it. We're going to be using this large stamp from Butterfly, Butterfly Brilliance. I don't want all of the butterflies, so I've got it on a block like this instead of uh, um, on my Misty because I don't want to stamp the whole thing. I just need to stamp the ones that I want. And I'm also using Quiet Meadow. I'm using a lot of these backgrounds, and I'm using this stamp here. Um, we could use this stamp, but I'm for the sentiment. But I chose one that's not a Stampin' Up stamp that I really like. I'm also using the matching butterfly dies, brilliant wings dies, and the, my sentiments coming from this stamp set uh, called Be Still from May May Made It. I don't know if she still makes it or not, but it's one from my stash. And this is these are the dies that I'm using. Okay, so let's put these aside. Let's bring in this. We'll go ahead and do the butterflies first. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Misty Moonlight ink. I'm going to ink up the butterfly that I want. Try not to get too much of the other butterflies, but if I do, that's alright. A little bit of them, it makes it easier to line up the die if I've got just little landmarks. Okay, then I'm going to place my paper over the top. Try not to move it. I'm going to bring in another block. And I'm going to use that to push down so that I can get a nice, smooth, perfect image. Okay. I'm going to lift it straight up. And there I have a perfect stamped image. Okay, let's go ahead and do this other one. I need this one down here. So I'm going to do the same thing. Ink up my butterfly. And again, it's okay if I get a couple little bits of the other butterflies because I got a lot of edge there, but because it helps to line up the dye. I'll set this on. Pick up my block my block on. Try not to slide that paper. Give it a good even push. Pick my paper straight up. Perfect. I find I get the best images that way. Let's set this aside so I don't get ink all over everything. Okay. Now, I'm going to Go ahead and die cut these. Let me close my ink. I'm going to need it again in a minute. But so I'm going to bring in my die. And I did one at a time because it was just easier for me. See how these other butter, these little bits helps to get this lined up a little bit easier. And then tape it down. And I just did one at a time, but I could probably do both of them. 
I'm going to go ahead and die cut these and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. See how those cut out perfectly? Okay, we'll put those aside for a minute. I also took this little die and from the scrap I ran it through. So I have another little butterfly to add. I have, well, I tend to like to do things in threes. It just feels more cohesive to me. I don't know why. Okay, now we can get to this part. We're going to bring this piece in. I'm going to go out and turn this this way. It's just easier for me to stamp on it. And I'm going to bring in, actually, I'm going to, yeah, bring in this piece. And I'm going to bring in my Versamark. I'm going to ink this up. And this is a big stamp, so you might want to turn it over this way. And ink it like this. Doesn't matter, either way works. Just want to be careful not to get the edges. Okay, and I'm going to do one stamp coming off this edge a little ways, right here. And it's going to be real hard for you to see because it's first a mark, so it's clear. I don't know if you can see the shiny. Okay, but I can see that it's shiny, so now I'm going to ink up, and I really only need the top part. And I want another one here on this corner. Ink it up again. And then I want to go up higher above that one. Uh, right here. I think I went up too high, but that's all right. I will go here, in that corner, and then I want one way up here at the top. I just want the flowers, so. All right. Now I'm going to bring in my uh, embossing powder. This is uh, ultra fine detail white embossing powder. And white, you could use clear at this point, that would work too, but where's my edge? Okay, this corner's not good. And then I don't probably need the coffee filters because this one has a container. I like that you don't need uh, to filter it back in, but it's hard to store a bunch of containers, so that's why I don't do this for all my embossing powders. One little spot here that I don't want. I'm gonna have to bring in a paintbrush. I'm gonna bring in a dry paintbrush. I'm just gonna try to clean this up a little bit without disturbing the other areas. It's because I forgot to use the embossing buddy, but it worked. Okay. Now on this one, these flowers are down lower, so I might have to put my sentiment or use a different sentiment, but we'll go with what we have for now. Now I'm going to bring in my heat tool, and I like to put it on this board. It just helps to dissipate the heat a little bit. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it because it's white, but as soon as it turns clear and shiny, you're going to move on to another spot so it doesn't burn it.
go. I'm going to take a little bit here because I emboss quite a lot. There we go. And I'm just turning it in the light so that I can see if I've missed any. goes from that grainy, powdery texture to a shiny, plasticky texture. Over, make sure I got everything. Okay. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it or not. There you go. Okay, so the next step is going to be. I'm going to do this background stamping first. I can't remember what I did next, but it doesn't matter. I think I did this next, and it smeared a little bit, and that was fine. I'm using the same Misty Moonlight ink. And I started with this one. It's got scripty. I stamped one here. I stamped one off over here. here and then a little bit down here at this bottom okay and then I came in with this dotty one and I did some dotties Oops. And I turned it and did different directions. Some second generation. Okay. And then I came in with my blending brush, picked up the ink, and I'm going to blend starting on the edges all the way around the edges. Well, that time I forgot to stamp off, but that's all right. That's why you want to dab off a little bit. And it'll all of a sudden, as you get over those places where we stamp the flowers, they're going to pop out. It's, it's called an embossing resist. And I do find it works better with darker colors. You can go as dark or as light as you want, but like I said, I like it pop to pop even more because I like the dark color. And then it contrasts the lighter butterflies that are getting put on top as well. I did darker around this bottom corner and along this edge that I embossed. Darker over here. Get more down here in the bottom. Okay. Whoops, I touched it there. It's took some of the ink off, so it's all right. Now I'm going to come in with a rag or clean towel. I'm just going to gently buff on top of those white embossed spots to get that ink that's sitting on top of them off. All right, 
Now, so I don't really have a spot for that sentiment. We might be doing a little bit different. This flower should have been down farther, so I would have had room for my sentiment there. So let's bring in our butterflies. I did these in in a night of navy instead of misty moonlight. Put one there. That little white one can go over here, and I, let's bring the stamp set in that came. I'll just use the thinking of you. That'll go good right here. Okay, that'll work. I'm going to use Memento. Before I've got these glued down, I'm going to just figure out where I want this. Perfect. Now I'm just going to glue these butterflies on. We can shift them a little bit. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and bring in my uh, Tombow Mono Multi Glue. Put a little bit of glue on those spines. I just bent up the wings next to the bodies. Don't want them hanging off the card because then they won't fit in your envelope. Come on, glue. Thank you. Shift them around just a little bit. And this little butterfly. Glue dots would work good for this too. This glue is just about empty. There we go. Now we're going to bring in our card base. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and adhere this down. All right, we'll bring in another one. Sure, it's right side up. There's just going to be the tiniest little border. And that's it. It's the one I did previously. And again, I think for this one, I might I must have used Knight of Navy for the butterflies because they look a little crisper. Well, there you go. Well, thank you so much for joining me today at Jamie's Craft Table. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I hope you can find a little bit of time to play with some stamps, ink, and paper.